Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and there's been a lot of serious tension and serious discussion recently regarding Pokemon bans and false bans and allegations and everything of the sort since there was a big recent ban wave, and that conflict kind of continues, and there's some really big PSA information today, especially for mobile users. Please, if you play Pokemon Mobile at all, you've got to watch this. It's important. You don't want to get banned accidentally. There is legitimate concern for that, which I have to come out and apologize for because I usually say, I usually try to say not to assume one way or the other. I usually try to say that if, you know, a friend of yours says they're banned and it was false or whatever, 99.9% .9 of people who get banned to get banned legitimately 0.01% um, may get false banned and that's a legitimate thing and that's always going to be this just uh, human error is always going to exist you know in any profession in any job not everything is going to be perfect humans just make mistakes it just happens unfortunately right so you never want to assume malice you never want to assume that someone is lying so i always just try to say you know what whenever someone tells me hey man i got banned and it's a false ban i always say i'm really sorry to hear that losing your account is devastating if you actually didn't do it i really i truly hope you get unbanned man uh but if you did i hope you stay banned and i wish you the best of luck and i hope you can make a new account or 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 yeah you know that's kind of my response i try to make it as general as possible because you don't want to assume one way or the other with with statistics it's just it's just a you know case by case tough thing now that's the preamble out of the way out of the way let's go ahead and get into it this is from the official pokemo support um tempering uh like a account or like we'll go over it uh client tampering excuse me client tampering support page this will be linked first thing down in the description now this is only this only has like seven thousand views this is wildly underviewed for how big of a psa this is all right let's get into it Overview, if your account has recently uh, been banned or closed due to client tampering, other software is interfering with Pokemon's normal operations. Excuse me. One of the reasons this may occur is due to an auto-clicker software you've installed to automate gameplay for Pokemon or other, or other games. It may also occur if you're running Pokemon in a multi-game program or other sandbox. Client tampering bans will continue to increase in duration until you uninstall the program, which is interfering with Pokemon Mo. Resolution. Remove all auto clickers and macroing software from your phone and restart it. When used on Android, iOS, auto clicker macro software can interfere with the game, even when not used with Pokemon Mo. So this is essentially saying that if you have any sort of auto clicker, any sort of macroing software installed on your phone at all, and you aren't even using them with Pokemon Mo, it's still going to detect that. And now you have to kind of make take these measures to um, not get caught by that. I assume that they are getting false positives and I assume they are, I'm assuming they're reversing these bans. I would love to get more information by this from the devs. I don't see why they would, it makes no logical sense they would just keep someone banned when it's probably pretty easy to check these false positives, but I, I could be mistaken. This is because they run in the background and uh, interfere with all programs. Uh, do not run Pokemon in a sandbox or other or other game isolation slash multi-app programs. Do not use hack tools with Pokemon. Pretty basic stuff. Hack tools which modify the APK or IPA files used on your phone will result in your account being terminated. We're just simply giving more clarity on uh, client tampering and just how to avoid possibly, you know, quote unquote, accidentally getting banned. Uh, Pokemon may refuse to run in rooted environments. This is very important due to high risk of cheating. That's very important. I think a lot of people that I know have like rooted um, devices, which you don't know, it's essentially jailbroken from my understanding, but for like Android devices or, or off, you know, non Apple devices. Pokemon does not allow running the game inside a virtual machine. This includes software such as BlueStacks, VMware, or KVM. I constantly echo this because I know for a fact that I have a, I know a lot of people who run uh, their entire like life in VMs for safety reasons out of kind of extreme security. Um, there's big YouTubers who do that. Um, I know friends who have BlueStacks. I've had BlueStacks installed on my computer at certain times to play certain mobile games. I've totally gotten rid of that just in case. Um, recently, it did come out that apparently you can use BlueStacks to play a different game while playing Pokemon at the same time. That should be fine. I think a, a mod confirmed that in a recent post. But at the same time, I wouldn't risk it, but it should be fine is, is the meme. A, a dev did come out and say, and I left a comment showing all of that information on one of my recent uh, bot wave videos and kind of covering all this information, just kind of covering news live. And as information unfolds, a lot of stuff we're just learning as time goes on. So take everything with a grain of salt. Everything here could change. 
Pokemon will automatically ban players using speed hack utilities and other hack tools. I didn't I didn't know that this stuff existed until someone sent me a uh, video of someone using speed hack, and I was genuinely shocked that that was possible. Um, that seemed pretty crazy to me, but that stuff gets you banned really fast. Maybe permanent uh, or temporary, depending on the severity of the offense. For players on Android, visit blah, blah, blah. That, you know, this link, this will all be linked down in the description if you're curious. If you're sure you're not running a software to interfere with the game, please file a support ticket describing your issue. Permanent bans for repeat offenders. We do not tolerate cheating in any form. While we issue temporary bans as a warning for less severe offenses, your account can be closed permanently for tempering, tampering, bypassing, client tampering. Checks through client hacks will result in a permanent ban for the account. That's everything here. Um, only 7,000 views, as you can see. And I do think this is a pretty big deal. I do think this is them essentially saying, and a lot of people are talking about this, due to a recent iOS update, um, or a recent you know, update to their mobile version of the game, due to a recent update to the mobile version of Pokemon, it is picking up <clears throat> any sort of program you have installed, auto clickers and any macros, as interfering with the game, even if you aren't using it directly to impact the game. So if you have any auto clickers installed for like your single player games or whatever mobile games you have played, any other macros, you've got to sort of follow the instructions here. Um, and I believe it usually just consists of getting rid of them and then also restarting your phone. Yeah, stuff like here. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. If you have any of that, I don't think, I don't think that many people have that kind of stuff on their phone. Um, but if you are someone who, who engages in that with other single player games where, you know, it's not against the rules or doesn't matter, make sure that when you're playing Pokemon to, to adhere to these guidelines, you don't want to get false banned. Um, that could be, you know, really shitty. So hopefully this clears some things up. Now, when I first saw this, my immediate thought was, man, like, did I go too hard on the recent, there was a Reddit post recently of someone claiming to be false banned, and I, I immediately thought that I go too hard on that. Like, I usually, I usually assume the 99.01%, and I try to stay in the middle, but in that one, I do think I sort of kind of assumed he was a little more guilty because I didn't like the way he was talking about it, and you can watch the whole video. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I definitely assumed that he was more in the wrong in that video. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I apologize if I was incorrect there. But I do think that due to the way he spoke and due to the way the devs kind of said, it does seem like this wasn't the case for him. It does seem like he was banned out of legitimate needs for legitimately using a macro. When the devs talk about him moving 0.5 second or point out yeah, moving in one direction for half after half a second moving in another direction for half a second and then doing that on infinite loop people people often say oh i play in a very consistent manner i play very efficiently um yada 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 you know for for many hours am i gonna get banned for botting as someone who has played many many twenty thousand hours of runescape which is a very tick dependent game and a very like movement based game and you know i've played i've done max xp rates at arty rooftops for tens of hours in a row at a time i i can promise you games like that bots usually don't act tick perfect and bots usually act at like a weird inefficient rate for a very like infinite loop and it's very easy to point out um it is almost a, a human is never going to play inefficiently at a specific rate for 10 20 30 40 hours you're going to change something at some point even if you miss one tick here and there it's really easy to be like oh, okay that's obviously not a bot right it is, it is almost impossible. It's, it's possible, and I hope they, you obviously go in and check for that. They, I'm sure they do. It's a lot more measured. It's not, it's not just like, oh, he looks like a bot, so therefore he's banned. I think a lot of people assumed the worst of the devs in that situation. I don't know why you would ever assume the worst there. Versus, okay, that's just step one, seeing how they're looking in game, and then step two is to actually go in and check their level, blah, 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 right? So I, I do think that the, uh, the Reddit guy was probably, you know, I don't think he falls under this. I think he was, it seems like he was actually running a script that they taught the way that they described it and talked about his movements. It does seem like he was actually running a script, but at the same time, um, there's always that 0.01% ratio kind of, uh, but with him, it's a little different because they came out, the devs actually came out and like, gave us information and said, Hey mate, your script was shit. So I don't know. I think right now is a more time than ever to take things with a grain of salt and just, if someone gets banned, um, I really do encourage people to do the, hey, you know what? I'm really sorry to hear that. Anyone getting, even if even if you deserve the ban, losing your account is sad. And I think it's important to be sympathetic to people like that. Um, even if they deserve, you know, quote unquote deserve it, right? Quote unquote. Um, I think the best response right now, and probably the only response is, dude, I'm really sorry to hear that. That is heartbreaking. I hope that you get unbanned if you truly didn't do that. And I hope you, you know, and that's it. You don't even have to say that. Oh, I hope you stay banned. Kind of like a dick, right? But if you just say, you know what? I hope you get unbanned if you truly didn't do it. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Best of luck. 
I think that is a super fair response uh, to anyone who yeah, is claiming they got banned unfairly. And yeah, that's how it goes. So hopefully those who have been un uh, banned unfairly, I hope you do get unbanned. And those who have been banned fairly, um, I wish you the best. I hope you honestly maybe can get unbanned one day or make a new account and still have fun playing Pokemon. But if you don't want to, I understand. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if not, that's totally okay. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Uh, follow the Twitch for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below if you're interested in that. And I almost forgot to talk about, wait a minute, I'm an idiot. Rach gave us one more little piece of information. Uh, Rach saying the client can now detect running accessibility services, that thing, uh, the thing that enables auto clickers to send inputs. These services remain enabled even when the program is not in use. If you uninstall the problematic app or disable its accessibility service, you'll be fine. Pretty much the same as what's happening in this in this post, but I thought it was worth adding. All right, I've done my intro. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later, and uh, good luck out there.